Wilson. Boy! Flutie the who? Y'all like that intro to the little fire. Y'all the little fire on bro, the explosion on bro. Look. Y'all been showing so much like some decent love for the other two videos, so um it's only right that <clears throat> I come with another banger. We recording again, y'all. I need my haircut, y'all. Like the waves ain't the waves need to come in, like because I'm woofing right now, y'all. So mind the line and all that. I put too much oil in my shit on, bro. But make sure, hey, we got Dave Chappelle exposes Oprah for being a handler for Hollywood elite. I don't know what that does. That mean like she giving off some jaws some more? She what? What is the handling? Can somebody let me know in the comments? But before we get into this, please like the vid like the video, please. We need we need to go crazy. We grinding all summer. It's summertime. Hey, you need to get up and grind. Get on your shit. It's time. But look, we finna go ahead and get into this video, man. Make sure y'all like, turn on uh, post notifications if y'all new. Hey, let me know anything y'all want me to. Re let me know anything. You you a subscriber? Just let me know what you want me to react to. Just comment. I'm replying. I'm look. I'm gonna reply to your comment. Let me know if y'all want me to react to compilations, other drama shits like music or whatever, bro. Just let me know. Let's. Hey, I want y'all to know. If I get an ad, I will let y'all know. I'm not getting that premium. I'm sorry. I thought I was. No premium this way. I'm sorry. Let's go. Dave Chappelle is back at it again, exposing Hollywood handlers, and this time he's dragging Oprah for profiting off of other people's suffering and doing business with shady elites. When a hero oh. stumbles, okay. well, the cowards rejoice. Nothing feels better to a coward than to watch a brave guy fall. Oprah Winfrey has built a reputation as a philanthropist and humanitarian, but Dave Chappelle always thought that there's another side to Oprah, and he's been trying to expose her for years. I don't want, I gotta, I, mean, I don't want black people to be disappointed in me. Pause. Putting that out. Now look, Dave, you probably want to hit. Did you want some neck? Did you want to smash? That's probably what she wanted from Oprah, and she wasn't going. Maybe because she wasn't going, you've been trying to expose her since 2006. I see, y'all see it right there. Look, since 2006, man, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's 2023. You've been trying to get on her for 20 years. 17 to be exact, and you keep failing, ain't? Eh? Man, y'all allergies, sickness, bro. Let's go. Yeah, no, you like, didn't want to be disappointed in yourself. You know what? Oh. You're right. See, Oprah has been involved in numerous controversies throughout her career. From claims that she blackballs and destroys the careers of everyone who criticizes her, to much more disturbing oh, allegations of alleged involvement you in human those. trafficking. Okay. Oprah Winfrey you and her BFF. The man in this photo is, quote, John of God. Oprah promoted him as a miracle healer. This man kept women chained to impregnate so he could sell their babies for organs. So what did Dave Chappelle say about Oprah and the Hollywood handlers? Does Dave know the real truth about the real Oprah Winfrey? Let's break it down. I'm very good at minding my own business. And the trick to minding your own business is knowing what is your business. Oprah Winfrey is trending yeah, again after actress facts, Monique though. recently revealed that she still hasn't received an apology from Oprah for sabotaging her career. But Oprah, this is me to you. All I would ask you, sister, is why would you do that to me? Was it for ratings? In case you missed this drama between Oprah and Monique, it all started in 2009 with the release of the movie Precious, directed by Lee Daniels and produced by Oprah and Tyler Perry. The movie was a critical success, and the producers wanted to send Monique on a press tour to take advantage of the media buzz. However, they didn't want to compensate Monique, Monique for the heavy. tour, so she turned it down. Pause. Tell I start rocking. If y'all watch BMF, I start rocking with Monique heavy on BMF, y'all. Anytime I got something to say, I'm going to pause it. Y'all told me to pause it. So look, ever since I've been pausing my video, y'all been subbing up. We got a whole bunch of new subscribers. If y'all, I know y'all new to the new subscribers. What's up, gang? No, bro, what's the word? Y'all, I, I bet y'all like Flucci. Um, why you ain't hit 100K yet? Ooh, this. Y'all, to be told, shorts. I, I could have been, bro. If I was posting shorts every day, I could have probably been at 400K. 
easy 500k it's just shorts not coming to my real you know the real content but they not come they not switching over to the main content so i'm just gonna grind it out hey keep posting these long bangers to these real reaction bangers we need the subscribers from the reactions let's go telling oprah she was already doing a comedy tour and wanted to have some downtime with her husband and kids after this, Lee Daniels reportedly threatened Monique, telling her it's not going to play out well for you. And according to Monique, the media suddenly started writing stories about how she's difficult and hard to work with. And that's when Monique realized what she wow. was really up against. What you can't do, Monique, is go against the grain. You can't go against this machine. But then Oprah did something even shadier to Monique. See, Monique previously revealed that she was essayed so by her brother, Gerald, from age 7 to 11, and she's been very vocal about how her family didn't believe her when she reported it. Gerald was even sentenced to 12 years in prison after he essayed another girl, and Monique cut off all contact with him. However, in 2010, Dang. Oprah invited Gerald on her show, and she also tried to talk Monique into coming as well. Monique told Oprah she didn't care if her brother wanted to come. However, she didn't want to be a part of the episode. But when the episode aired, it turned out Oprah blindsided Monique by inviting not just Gerald, but also both of her parents, who had previously downplayed the essay uh, she suffered. I did so inappropriately <laughs> touch my sister in manners that were not comfortable for her. And for oh, that, I apologize. Monique was devastated, but when she Pause. tried to reach out, I don't want to keep pausing, but it's like, damn, my fault, y'all. We only three minutes in, it's a 10 minute video. But hey, get y'all snacks. Oprah, you a shady. You a shady thought. You a shady. You, you, she didn't want to be on the episode, so you just gonna invite her parents. You're shady. You dead shady. Let's go. Oprah and confront her about it. Oprah went radio silent. Monique eventually ran into Oprah at a Hollywood event, and Oprah claimed she had no idea Gerald would bring his family. However, Monique believed that Oprah was lying. I shared with her that me and my mother was not talking. I shared with her we were in a really bad place. Yeah, that's bogus. I shared with her I was hurt. And, you know, trying she invited to her mom? figure this thing out. She never said my mother was coming yeah, to the show. Because had Oprah Winfrey said, yeah, that's wrong. I'm going to have your mother, I would have said, shut it down. I don't need the world seeing how greedy my mother is. And then I add y'all. Um, three, two, one. Wait, wait, another ad. Y'all, I'm sorry, I can't get premium. Two, one, go. Oh, Oprah reportedly told Monique she was sorry, Monique recently told The Hollywood Reporter that she still expects a public apology from Oprah. But this situation with Oprah and Monique is just the tip of the iceberg. And Oprah has also faced disturbing allegations of trafficking and enabling known abusers like Harvey Weinstein and Jeffrey Epstein. Several celebs have publicly accused Oprah of covering up for Harvey Weinstein, and actress Rose McGowan claimed Oprah is as fake as they come. Rose blasted Oprah for being friends with Weinstein and Russell Simmons, who's also faced multiple allegations of SA, and wrote, I am glad more are seeing the ugly truth of Oprah. I wish she were real, but she isn't. From being pals with Weinstein to abandoning and destroying Russell Simmons as victims, she is about supporting a sick power structure for personal gain. She is as fake as they come. Singer Seal also publicly called out Oprah over hey, her friendship Oprah. with Weinstein, and he claimed that Oprah knew all about Weinstein's misconduct for years. Now, when it comes to Oprah's alleged connection to Jeffrey Epstein, this story is shrouded in a lot of mystery. However, there's been a ton of speculation online that Oprah helped Epstein pick his victims. At one point, reports even emerged that Oprah's Florida residence was raided over her alleged involvement in a global trafficking ring. However, Oprah later addressed these reports on Twitter and called it an awful fake thing. It's not true, Oprah wrote, haven't been raided or arrested. However, the speculation didn't end there because Oprah's name was also brought up in connection to a Brazilian self-proclaimed medium and convicted offender, John of God. John ran a spiritual healing center in Brazil for years before being arrested and sentenced to 63 years in prison for essaying multiple women. But before he was arrested, John was featured on an episode Yo. of the Oprah Winfrey Show, and Oprah actually yeah, traveled to Brazil getting... to meet him, later claiming that Pause. she experienced some... Oprah getting y'all locked up like this? Don't tell me Oprah getting y'all locked up. Oprah sending y'all. Um, anytime Oprah sends y'all, it's over 50. And that's. I hope y'all ain't in there dropping the soap, man. Y'all in there like swimwear. Y'all lit up. Y'all might as well tell OG them. 
bring your bring over your leftover Debbie cakes that you left at the, the crib the day before your last day before getting put in there. Seriously, man, like y'all ain't getting out. Sixty three years, man, you might just give me life. Let's go. Something profound during their conversation. This is an interview I wasn't sure would ever happen. One of the most famous spiritual healers in the world rarely talks to anyone on camera. John of, God. John of God agreed to sit down with me under a mango tree on the grounds of the casa. The first time I saw it today, I was humbled by the experience. Ela disse quando ela viu primeiro as pessoas hoje, um pouco isso aqui pertence a você. Because a little bit of this belongs to you. A part of this belongs to you. However, after the allegations of SA and CA against John became public, Oprah deleted all interviews with him from her site and released a note stating that she hopes justice will be served. And what makes this story even more disturbing is that by the time Oprah met with John of God, she had already opened an all-girls high school in South Africa. And in 2007, a school matron named Virginia was charged with getting inappropriate with multiple girls. We arrested a former employee of, uh, who was working at Oprah Winfrey uh, Leadership Academy for Girls. She was arrested yesterday for several charges, including uh, assault, indecent assault, uh, as well as uh, soliciting girls under the age to commit indecent assault. And uh, she's now at the Ferenheim police cells. But despite all these scandals and controversies, Oprah managed to build a reputation as a committed philanthropist, receiving numerous awards and accolades, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2013. I miss Barack Obama, man. I miss Barack Obama as president. Oh. Oh, but these truth, However, if, if these allegations Chappelle, about you are Oprah true, has had us all fooled for years. See, Adios. Dave's probably the only celeb who saw through Oprah long before all these scandals came to light. All the way back in 2006, Dave appeared on The Oprah Show to discuss why he turned down a $50 million deal from Comedy Central and escaped to Africa. But when Dave told Oprah that he had heard stories about what happens to celebrities who refuse to be controlled by Hollywood elites, Oprah acted clueless and made Dave look crazy, trying to get him to admit that he lost his mind. I've been in show business since I was 14, and uh, I've heard the stories mm -hmm. of what happens, and I've seen these kinds of things play out in front of me. Okay. When, I saw when you say you heard the stories, what do you mean? What stories? I mean, you see before, look, Mariah Carey made a $100 million deal and three months later, she's all of a sudden mysteriously crazy. Or Martin Lawrence punches through and he's waving a gun on the street screaming, they're trying to kill me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we hear those stories. And it always happens around the time of their career where it seems as though they're crossing over the next plateau. Yeah, yeah. Would you say you lost your mind, sort of? No. No. Not exactly. OK. Uh, I wasn't crazy, but it, it's in on top of all this, Oprah's name recently started trending again after reports surfaced that she tried to blackball Kanye West and reportedly told several artists not to work with him. Oh, Besides Kanye, that, Oprah's also everything. reportedly close to Harley Pasternak, Kanye's former personal trainer who threatened he would institutionalize Pause. him again. Kanye, dude, can you get your life back on track? You win everything. Why is your name in every all these videos you got something to do with it for? Everything, all the videos I reacted to, you in them. Let's go. And and sent him back to Zombieland. Sources close to Dave Chappelle are now saying Dave is not surprised to hear all these new allegations about Oprah, because he allegedly always believed that she was a handler who works for the Hollywood elites. As for fans, they're praising Dave for speaking out against Oprah, and they're saying that hopefully more people will start to see Oprah for who she really is. Dave and Oprah are the best examples of what Hollywood can turn you into, one fan said. Dave got away from the negative 17 effects, years later, and Oprah Dave, became and she's the negative still good. Effects. And another fan wrote, she's a handler, and I'm happy to see more Dang. people are becoming aware of the toxic person she truly is. But let's hear your thoughts on Oprah Winfrey. Do you think she's really a handler wow. for the elites? Let us know in the comments, and don't miss out on this next story. All right, look. Do I think she's really a handler for the elites? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a buck 30 with you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> now, look. 
you just asked me that question, you should have known my answer. I don't care. Now look, um, let me not all just said y'all think Oprah handler or like how y'all feel about this situation. Um, I was just joking, but no, I really don't care. But if y'all let me know y'all opinion, I swear to God, I care. Just cause it's y'all opinion, I care. On God, if it, just cause it's y'all opinion, I care. All right. So look. Make sure y'all like, turn on post notes if y'all are new, man. Subscribe. Hey. Flutie the Donsky, out of here, man. So, hey, subscribe.